Hello everyone, this is Sharmin Khan from Milky Way Art Design. Today I am going to show you the step-by-step -step process uh, to create this geode piece and you can see that I have added mirror again on this piece. So I'll show you how I cut my mirror and how did I um, include that into my geode piece. So let's start. So first I'm going to draw where I want to cut. I'm not sure if I can cut it that smoothly but that's what I'm thinking. Another cut. So I put some oil. The oil was provided on the glass cutting kit. When you plan, it's always important to think about how to maximize the use of your materials to keep the cost down. Oops. As you can see, it did not go that well. It broke like that. so as you can see that it's a square uh, 12 inch by 12 inch mirror i did draw three lines so i can use the entire mirror and there will not be any waste when you are cutting glass you want to hear this noise that screeching uh, or cracking sound that it makes I bought the glass cutter from Amazon and in the instruction it says that cut your mirror you basically drawing an edge to the mirror and make sure that you have that edge and after that you have to tap it on the back side uh, of the mirror um, so and it should break according to your cut so let's see oh nice Look at that. Oh, ho. I'm in business. Let me clean up my workstation. So what I'm thinking is if I put this glass on this side, and the other piece on the other corner, I will have the uh, glasses on this side and the green will go or the color that I'm picking is going to go from here. Same way on the other side, it will have the same situation. So these are my two glass setting situation. I'll show you what I do on the other one. So it's going to be a uh two piece set diptych so this is the one side the other one i'll show later now i'm going to put some glue and stick the glass on here on the surface once the mirror dried i'm going to use this fire glass uh, which is celestial fire glass from amazon and i'm going to layer them on my wooden panel and from there we'll go
I use the celestial five crystals. One is mirrored, the other one is just clear glass. So I took those, um, oh, by the way, this one is one fourth inch and this one, both of them are actually one fourth inch uh, sizes. So after I sprinkle some clear resins on top of the clear glasses, I also added um, some black pigment with resin and created this uh, kind of like a vein look in the center and um, it's almost dried so I moved on to the next part For the sake of time, I'm kind of fast forwarding everything. I personally find this part a very tedious process. It takes a long time to make sure that you're happy with the layering of the stones. So you'll have to take your time. As you can see now, I am adding some gold color or gold painted glasses just to highlight the clear glasses and I have added some gold pigment with alcohol and then I put some tempered glass and mix them well and let them dry and that's how I obtained those gold color tempered glasses so that's what I'm layering now Now to anchor these gold glasses uh, with the surface, I mixed some antique gold and rich gold together. And then I am uh, with the resin, by the way, and then I'm going to use that to uh, pour on the uh, gold part.
looking for guidance I can be the hand you reach oh. Baby, you can lay all onto my shoulders I carry all of your fears mm. And I can dry your tears The color that I was looking for, it in my mind, it was kind of like blue and greenish mix. So to obtain that color, I mixed uh, Resin Arts, which is from Color Art, uh, from their Luster Pigments set. And I used Surf Sub. And I mixed that with um, TLP's Nebula and Emerald. And you'll see interesting thing happen. Even though I mixed a significant amount of nebula and um, emerald from Piggy, um, at the end when it dried, you would hardly see the green pigments. The reason I think what happened was like when you mix two different brands of pigments, maybe one brand uses smaller um granules than the other one or they are heavier or lighter than each other so my suggestion would be stick to any one brand i'm not saying this brand is better than the other one but i would suggest to stick with the same brand if you're mixing the pigments together I think I have used too much of the bluish green color here and it's kind of trying to cover the black areas so I'm using my hand to wipe off the excess ones. This is after a day I'm using my syringe to fill up the um syringe with glitters golden glitters and i am uh yes. creating these lines as you can see i'm messing up here and there but honestly this is so forgiving i will get away with any mistake i make
this part might need some practice and as you can see i am messing up here and there but again it's pretty forgiving so it should be okay once you do it you might notice that you are missing some of the spots you can always go back and fill it up it should be perfectly seamless
in this stage if you make a mistake with the gold pen you can always use nail polish remover to get rid of the line um, sometimes I have tried with isopropyl alcohol and it worked but not very well but anyway you can do that and um, I'm almost done so after this I am going to put on another layer of resin uh, to make it smooth and um, very professional looking so yeah as you can see it turned out really pretty um, in person of course in a resin work um, the shimmer and blinks are way more prominent than the pictures so i'm really happy with the piece that i got thank you so much for watching my video and if you like my videos please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and this is the end result and as you can see i have decorated it either way and you can set it up as both ways so thank you so much again bye